Hi there, welcome back to the YouTube channel. You would probably expect to see MKM Commander's decks text this week. Um, they will be coming. I've decided to hold on until I can pick some of the cards up on MTGO. So today is Monday for me. Tuesday and Wednesday will be some random more commanders. And then Thursday and Friday, I'll try and do an extra couple this week. Um, one extra one at least and get some of the MKM ones in once we get them on MTGO. Uh, which should be tomorrow. Well, depending on when you're watching this. Monday for me maybe Sunday evening if you're watching this across the pond. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Today's commander, Yarrick the Desecrated. Two black, green and blue for a 3-5 elemental horror with death touch and lifelink. And we all know what it does. It basically doubles up the... Well, not double up. Well, yeah, nah. Can we call it double up? Suppose we can, we can't. Yeah, people are complaining about it. Gives you an extra enter the battlefield trigger every time something enters the battlefield with an enter the battlefield trigger. So it triggers twice. Um, I love this card. I played a whole full-on Elementals deck back in the day in Standard with this in it and a load of other Elementals, which is really good in M20. And I have had Yarrick built at various times as a commander in real life. And I've had also built on MT Jaren as a commander at various times. But for some reason, I've never recorded a video. So I'm correcting that today. Like I said, there will be MKM stuff coming later in the week, so bear with me. But for today, this is how I built Yarrick. As usual, start with my mana base, um, blue, green and black lands all the way through as you can imagine. And three of each basic. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you watched the stream we play up on that came live, well, Saturday for me, Friday evening for some people across the pond. Um, you'd have seen me playing Yarrick on that stream replay and I built the deck while I was playing the first game and I've made some changes to it since you saw it on the stream. So if you watch the replay you can probably spot some of the changes and I'll just go through. And firstly, one of the things we did notice was I didn't have enough basic lands in the deck so I've now gone up to nine basic lands in the deck. Again, that mills may still be too low. Um, I am thinking really about taking out the snow dual lands at this stage um, because we do get a lot of triggers which is not something I quite expected for this so it may be that they come out. Um, artifact ramp wise, Mox Tantalite, I'm trying out Everflowing Chalice, um, I haven't played Everflowing Chalice for a while um, because well I just haven't really and I want to try it out and I thought this might be a good deck to try it out and so We'll see how it goes. Again, it's a change from what we... Well, no, we did have it in the deck on the stream, so it is there. Um, beyond that, Soul Rings here, and then we've got Arcane Signet, one of each of the medallions of the right colours, and then one of each of the talismans um, to go through it as well, just to help us get that ramp on a little bit quicker. From there, it's really about how we play the stuff which comes into play battle, which comes into play effects. Um, and there's one thing I need to point out with Yarrick, which I hadn't realised until we played it in the game. So, Gilded Ghosts um, just gives us some food, and we can make more food, and so on and so forth when Yarrick's in play. Amulet of Vigors here, because it stops things coming into play tapped. Um, that's really important with some of the lands we have coming to play, like Dark Slick Shores, um, Drowned Catacomb, so on and so forth. And some of the other things we have coming along, so I decided to try it out in this deck. Elixir of Immortality is here to shuffle everything back in when it gets killed off, so it will get killed off, sorry. Soul Ring appears. I've already talked about that. Why am I mentioning that? Anyway, two drops. I'm not with it now. Uh, Cyclonic Rift. Bounce everything. Bit of control for us. Gala Greeters. Um, things cause this to trigger. We probably get two of the triggers every time. So I think it works like that. I didn't get to play it in the stream, but we'll find out when I play it in the stream again. Lotus Cobra definitely does give us double triggers for mana when Yarrick's in play. Nature's Law, Rampant Growth, three visits. I'm still keeping them going in green decks to go and search lands out after the conversation I had the other week. Um, and I'm starting to come around to the right way of thinking on these now. So yay, thank you for the person who pointed it out to me. Um, Baleful Strix gives us an extra card when it comes into play when Yarrick's in play, as well as having a flying death touch. And Lonis, um, this is Cryptologist. Um, yeah, Cryptozoologist, sorry. Double clues. Soon start nicking things very quickly. Elrond, Lord of Rivendale. Um, when it or another battlefield creature enters the battlefield, we get to do a scry one. So Yara can play as a scry two. And yeah, for the second time this ability is resolved, this turn the ring tempts you. Now, I'm not sure how that works with the triggered abilities. We'll work it out when we get to it again. Haven't played it yet, but I've got a feeling we might play, play one creature and resolve it twice and get the temptation on the go. So could be fun. Nissa Resurgent, just to go and get Elementals. We have a few Elementals we have um, in the deck. And yeah, the land colour is always a bit of an upside of a Lotus Cobra. Reclamation Sage, 
obviously we hold this until we've got Yarrick in play to block two artifacts and enchantments that are annoying us. Eternal Witness brings back two cards from the graveyard. Um, Selivala, Heart of the Wilds, is very nice. Hopefully, um, we get the creatures in that have the greatest prize. We get a couple of card draws, but the mana thing's fine. Risen Reef is Risen Reef. It's one of the cards I played in the standard deck, which just works so well with Yarrick, as we all know. And Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Um, yeah. Play this with Yarrick in play. That's six life, two cards, and possibly two lands into play. Even And then the escape, you know, even when you escape it, you get the same again. It's very good. Filigree Familiar, four life and a card with Yarrick in play. Grave Digger, returning two creatures. You all know what these do, I'm sure. The one thing I didn't know that happened, and this is why I've gone up with extra, is that battles trigger twice. Um, didn't realise that. Obviously, they're permanent, as with the battlefield. So something like Invasion of Zendikar, you go and search out four basic lands, hence why I've gone up. Um, when I played this on the stream, when you watch the replay, you see I think I only searched out two lands. That's all I had left. Um, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Great card. Really good with Yarrick. Love it. Right. Sorry, my dog's going mad here. Funny noise in the background. Anyway, Hostage Taker comes in, takes two creatures out, or two artifacts. Quandrix Cultivated goes and gets even more basic forest sort islands. Um, again, this is the reason why there's the argument about having more basics in the deck than I have at the moment. Um, yeah. What can you say about Panharmonicum? Um, yeah, creatures entering trigger again. So you get three triggers off creatures. Artifacts trigger twice. Yeah, okay then. Um, again, another argument to have even more basics in the deck because obviously the next card we've got Sodom Simulacrum. Got to have Sad Robot in the deck for the triggers. Mole Drifter, traditional elemental, goes and get your card draw, evoke it or cast it for five. Virtue of Knowledge. <laughs> If the if entering the bat if a permanent entering the battlefield causes a trigger permanent of a permanent you control to trigger it triggers an additional time, so yeah, Yarrick without the creature side of it, uh, okay, we'll go with that. Sheldred's fun. Um, every opponent will sacrifice two creatures if you've got Yarrick in play, and the transforming is not bad if you can do it as well. Um, Thragtus, 10 life and a 3-3 three, three when it dies. Acidic Slime blows up two things that we don't want in play at a minimum. Crested Herd Caller gives us a couple of dinosaurs. So, yeah, three three threes for five can be good fun. Um, Wave Sifter gives us a couple of clues to investigate with. Again, another elemental that we can convoke, if, evoke if we need to. And Meteorite, yes, it's ramp, yes, it's five mana, but it's two colorless damage. Um, this triggers twice with Yarrick in play. Panharmonicon it triggers twice. If you have Yarrick and Panharmonicon in play, anything with six toughness is in a whole load of world of pain. Grave Titan. Got to have your zombies. Um, Marionette Master. We do have ways of artifacts going to the graveyard, but what I'm using it for is to do the double trigger, and one set triggers will give us um, six servos, and then people will start dying off to them quite happily. Demon of the Dark Schemes gives all our creatures minus four, minus four when it comes into play. So Yarrick survives if we've got Yarrick in play. Massacre Worm, the same. Double triggers and a little bit of life loss. So, you know, four toughness things will die with Yarrick. Bane of Progress. Yes, it doubles triggers, but it just blows up everything that's an enchantment or artifact, including your own. So bear that in mind. Um, but it becomes a very big threat very easily in this deck. Genesis Storm, because I wanted to try it out, and I picked one up because it was cheap for a treasure chest card for some reason. Um, yeah, you may cast this spell, copy it for each time you've cast your commander from the command zone. I usually hold on, I've, you know, I've played the deck a couple of times since the stream, and I've held on to it a couple of times while I've got Yarrick cast a couple of times before I've played it out, and yeah, it's good fun when that happens. Regal Behemoth that makes you the Monarch and doubles all your land stuff up. Um, yes, you do do two Monarch triggers, but you can only become the Monarch once. So, you know, pointless exercise, but it's good fun. Um, Suren and Gorkor does put two plus one plus one counters on a creature when it comes into play, when this is in play, and gives them haste twice. We need to give haste once, but anyway. Um, but yeah, that's quite nice. Gruff Triplets. Haven't had the luxury of playing this when Yarrick is in play yet. But I kind of figured this coming to play and getting four tokens, you'll get some really big gruff triplets on the go. Even more so if you've got Panharmonican in play or the Virtue of Knowledge. I'm so looking forward to the moment I can do that. Colga will 
fight t up to two things um i would only probably get it to fight one unless there's two small things that you're going to kill off you know maybe a, something with power of four and then maybe you kill off an elf maybe might be the way around it agent of treachery we all know what this does double steals um spectral primordial someone suggested this in the game um and i've put it in the deck and yeah okay then <laughs> yeah um i'll nick two creatures from every other opponent's graveyard hmm okay that's fine we'll cope with that hornet queen just gives you a whole mass of insects and death touching um type of industry you can basically do destroy all four of the abilities or double up on the rhinos and life or the shields or you could do two rhinos or two or five life in a shield counter i think that's what i did the one time i did it in the game i played archon of cruelty is just silly <laughs> enters the battlefield or attacks an opponent um target opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker discards a card and loses three life you draw a card so you can hit two of your opponents when it comes into play or if there was someone on six life you just kill them there and then there's nothing they can do about it majestic genesis um not sure about this again it's another card i wanted to try out just for the sake of trying it out reveal the top x cards your library works as five basically because that's what Yarrick costs um pet any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield the rest onto the bottom of your library in a random order yeah maybe it's probably better where you've got a higher cost commander but hey it's just fun a um, little bit of fun card take it out if you don't want to play it put something else in maybe another basic um terustodon will blow up um six things i've been there done that with this including some of my own things i blew up when i played it and the last three cards, Great Henge, because you really do want the double triggers off the Great Henge when things come into play. Um, six creatures getting sacrificed by your opponents through the portal of Phyrexia is very nice as well, even though you only get one back a turn, but six sacrificing is quite good. And then Genesis Wave. Sorry, I haven't played Genesis Wave in a green deck for ages. I had this in my original build in real life, so it's back again, and yeah, it's staying there. And that's it. That's how I've built my version of Yarrick online at the moment. Um, I do like this deck. I've forgotten how much I enjoyed it. So I'm going back to it and playing a lot against you. If you come and see the stream, there's a link down below. Um, you'll probably see me play it there sometime very soon on the stream. Um, in between all the MKM stuff that's coming up. Um, well, later this week anyway, once it's released. you know, Monday for me, released tomorrow hopefully we'll see um but for now thank you for watching please hit the subscribe button down below here me here somewhere it should be maybe there maybe i hope if i'm pointing in the right direction it looks about right to me um come and follow me on twitch there's a link down below to that as well and obviously the deck link the whole deck you can go and have a look at over on goldfish so for now thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care bye